So hello viewers, good morning. So I had already posted a video on my H1B experience on uh, specific interview questions, the process on uh, how I was selected in the lottery and what are the questions that were uh, asked in the interview. And uh, most, is, most uh, importantly, my current status that I got an uh, 221G second time I am waiting for the status. So today I have with me my uh, colleague so who has gone through applying H1B for the first time. So he went there, he completed his uh, one term of H1B, he uh, applied for um, transfer, transfer of H1B from one petitioner to another employer and then uh, he uh, and then he got his uh, renewal. It was time for his visa expiry, so he applied a renewal drop box. He came here and he finished uh, his drop box. So I have with me, he's going to leave in another couple of days. So I thought uh, I'll just grab him for a few minutes. Uh, so it would be helpful for uh, those who are applying. So I have split this into three videos. Okay, the first one would be useful for the first time uh, H1B appliers. So if you are applying for the first time, he will be sharing his experience on uh, how uh, he applied starting from the lottery till uh, how he reached there and uh, what was his, uh, like how did he manage to stay there. That will be the first part for the first timer. And if you are, if you are already there and you, you want some information on uh, what to do next or why, what is transfer, how to do transfer, what is the process, the second part of the video would be helpful for those in knowing about the transfers and uh, how to apply them and what are the process do's and don'ts I know he had uh, missed out few things and he had waited for a long time. We have been speaking for quite some time, nearly a year or so. So that would be helpful for the person who wants to renew. Uh, not renew, um, transfer, do the transfer of H1B. And the third would be for persons who are waiting for renewal, who wants to renew in India. So because uh, there has been lots of 221G. I am getting uh, tons of calls from uh, viewers or telling that uh, they applied for uh, renewal, theirs is not rejected but not approved. They are in 221G waiting and they are they have no clue what is happening. Many of them have stated that they are waiting for two years. That is surprising for me. Two years, no decision has been taken. So that is seriously giving us a thought like what to do next. So I, I tell some of them like, okay, let it be. Just don't wait for it. Proceed with the other things. So, the third part of the video will be helpful uh, for those. Okay, so we have Vishnu here. Hi. Hi. So, yeah, Vishnu, you can start with your uh, first time H1B. So, why did you want to go to US at first? The first thing is opportunity to learn the business. So, uh, when you are working here in India, we usually work for the technical things. We never, uh, uh, we never get an idea of uh, how the businessman thinks there and what what we are doing as an end product. Mm -hmm. So when you are going there, you'll be get an opportunity to work with the BES closely. Uh, so yeah, that's your opportunity. And one more thing is, uh, of course, your salary thing. Okay. So you'll be getting uh, right, okay. right. <laughs> and uh, the American dream, right? The American yes, lifestyle. Everyone will be having the uh, dream of going traveling to America to see what was the life there. And it's a nice country as well. Like uh, we have most number of tourist places there. It was a good place to visit anyway. So where all you have traveled there? Uh, I traveled to New York. Uh, I stay. I, I mean, I initially uh, traveled to Philadelphia for okay. my work. So from Philadelphia, the New York City is New York. Then I went to uh, Miami. I went. Miami. Miami, Florida. I went and. Uh, California I went. I went to the uh, Universal Studio in California, LA. Okay. Las Vegas we went. Uh -huh. we'll go there. So it was a good uh, trip. Like, yeah, I went like six to seven places. Six to seven. So do you have anything in bucket list? In your bucket second list, of course, everyone's bucket list is that Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls, yeah. okay. Okay, okay, nice. So we'll start with your uh, first time H1B. So how did it all started? Okay, your company always will apply for your H1B, whatever we are working. Uh, okay. Because individuals cannot apply for H1B, as uh, I know. Right. So, company usually apply for your H1B. And once uh, your H1B is, I mean, in lottery it was picked, then uh, they will be uh, processing for the stamping things uh, you'll be working for it. Okay, so once your uh, employer applies your petition, 
uh, first you have to be you have you should be selected in the lottery yes and then uh, employer will apply for a petition yeah. and then um, once the petition is approved you can go for uh, stamping yes and uh, for this year for the current year it is uh, done actually the lottery is closed and the petition has started so if at all you want to uh, apply or you have this american dream the right time is uh, march right yes so march march uh, like feb, Ma- feb or march so that is the time you you have to but start speaking with your employer uh, year end itself just start speaking with him and uh, tell your uh, motivation that you need to go to america so that he can plan and uh, start your uh, lottery okay so now that you have your lottery picked and you your employer has applied petition for you and it is approved and uh, the next step is you you want to have a d60 i mean d uh, ds160 id so only with your ds160 you can apply for the stamping stamping so yeah. how, tell me your experience on your stamping first time first time i i i got time I in mean, during i got during the covid time so chennai was so busy that time like only chennai and delhi were open okay so i went i chose delhi because i got slot in delhi only at once that was hectic time like uh, there was no slots available we have been continuously monitoring the telegram right, right, channels right. for it so once i got in delhi uh, i think in may i got like 2021 so i went to delhi there first day it's for the vac uh it's because it's for fingerprint biometrics yeah right. biometrics and uh, second day is for the uh, your interview so, so how was your interview interview it was uh, uh h1 since your h1 b there won't be much of questions for you okay uh the questions they asked me like uh, what was the organization i'm uh, working for okay and whether i'm going for to work on the organization or for the client location right. they ask i i hear this question commonly being asked even to me also they ask whether you are going to work for the employer or for the end client right yes. so what did what was your answer my answer is end client because you will be having the client letters and all those documents anyway your employee would have been said that right so if you are work if you are going to work in the client place they'll ask you like how many days of work you are going to do there okay all those things will be there and what was your role particularly for thing and they'll ask you like what is your job description and those things may be question okay uh, because i don't got these questions i just got the question of uh, who is your employer and uh, which either you are working for the client or for your employer okay and was there any preparation from your uh, employer end on do's and don'ts no there won't be any do's and don'ts but you want to carry all the documents whatever documents uh, your employer will share the list bucket of i mean of uh, a huge chunk of document they will be sharing even though if it's not needed they'll ask you to carry you don't want to miss any of the documents otherwise okay. you'll be on the waiting list so right. whatever the employer checks the document all those documents has to be carried so how, how was your feeling when they so what did they tell for approval like the sir do you re- recollect that moment yeah they no only thing is if they accepted the passport of course stamping was done they they'll tell like uh, they said like to me like enjoy your trip and they accepted the visa if it's rejected they just give you a slip of uh, some colors printed will be there yeah yeah it's like 221g slip like we have pink blue and uh, white slips yeah right. okay nice so once nice. the passport is accepted you are good to travel like you will be uh, getting the stamped uh, passport in within a week you will be getting it okay so what was running in your mind after uh, your uh, like you got your visa right the moment you knew that okay everything is approved yeah, how did I you was, feel yeah i was excited actually but I was little bit, I mean, a uh, uh, little bit panic as well, like because first time I was traveling alone, and I traveled during the Christmas time, and there was no one there to receive me as from the company because everyone was on holidays. Uh, most of them was traveling, so yes, I went there. But anyway, uh, usually, if someone will from your company will always help you. So okay. when I reached there, I was like waiting outside the airport for an hour. My hands of freezing there during the christmas, christmas time, time right actually. so you landed in new york uh, i landed in uh, nawalk no, near oh, to nawalk okay okay new, okay. new jersey okay 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 and your work location was my work location was philadelphia philadelphia so But from there yes, you had to travel actually since no one was there in philadelphia to receive or uh, help me out uh, my manager asked me to come to nawalk and uh, because he was staying in new jersey my manager so you is almost there first initially so he said like uh, you can book any hotels nearby there 
Okay. So okay. I landed in Nawak and I tra- took taxi for an hour to reach to hotel. So okay. first three days I stayed in hotel. You you stayed. In, okay. Since you brought this point, who took care of the expenses of your first time flight travel, the hotels, all no, those expenses? The organization has given me an amount. Ah, <coughs> that depends on organization because I seen my friends. Uh, organization used to uh, book everything on there okay. i mean they this team used to take care of the hotel bookings and mm-hmm. everything but for me my organization given me around uh, 2k dollars for my oh. initial one week expense what was it okay yeah, yeah able we'll to manage we'll be able okay. to manage for a week then uh, we'll be getting a bi weekly paycheck like next 15 days we'll be getting a salary okay, 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 so okay. you'll be able to manage it so how did you stay after the, uh, after the hotel where did you move uh, in i moved to my manager home even though he was not there but he given his key to his friends oh. so after three days because hotel is too expensive like they charge like around 100 dollars per day wow so okay. like it was that too is... much expense even though it's given a 2k they given it will be deducted from your pay paycheck okay 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 so and then you stayed uh, you got a uh, also you stayed in your uh, manager uh, home throughout or you no, moved to I, a... no i mo- i I stayed there until like two weeks time. Two weeks. Then my work location is Philadelphia. I got contacts, so I mean this is like just to get a contact. Before that, I stayed there. Uh, I just want to make sure that I feel safe, so I stayed there. And since it's during the Christmas holidays time, like until uh, first week of after New Year, client was not there, so I don't. Uh, I mean I don't want to go to office. Okay. I, okay. I was doing work from home, so I I was staying until like Jan first week in New Jersey. Then once uh, client started coming to office, they asked me to visit the office, okay. and it's mandatory like uh, three days in a week. I need to go to office. <laughs> right, right. So then I moved to Philadelphia. Okay. So uh, one question: As a first timer who are seeing this, what all uh, things to be taken care immediately they land there? Example like SIM card or any other details, uh, which would be helpful. Yes, if any of your friends was there, you can ask them to get the. Uh, sim card for you okay they can get you a sim card and ship it if someone is traveling they can ship it or now if you have let us own e sim option e sim option right yeah so otherwise you want to put your international package whatever indian carriers you are using you want to put your international package i missed that and uh, after landing i i waited one hour in outside the airport because of that for sim card yes i actually not because of sim card you'll be having a taxi in the hotel i mean when in the airport but it was too expensive okay you okay. want to be either book uber or uh, lift was there mm-hmm. so you that will be much cheaper when compared to airport taxis okay so i was not able to book taxi because uh, once you are outside the airport you'll not get the wifi wifi right right and i don't have international uh, subscription as well so i not reach us so once i get out of uh, I got uh, I'm getting blocks of the network. <laughs> okay. So uh, I travel back to airport again and uh, and I, I ask my I I call my wife to reach as my actual sim. International. International. Okay. That's Then expensive, I, right? Yes. Like uh, I think it's like eight hundred dollars per sorry eight hundred rupees, rupees per week. Per something. week. Okay. And uh, any other documentation to be done after we reach that first time? We have to register somewhere. Yes, or actually, I did for I nine. I nine is like an work authorization. Okay. You want to do before you start your work. So as like, soon as you get there, uh, you have to. That visit, depends uh, on organization because I seen my other friends' organization used to do I nine itself when they are okay. doing the. Okay. Okay. So but organization takes care of everything. Yes. So we need not But worry. But if they did not do, they will give you an instruction, instruction. what needs to be done. Uh, only thing we want to make sure that is when you are entering the airport, they will be give, uh, giving you the I-94. I mean, okay. I-94 is your port of entry to port US. Of, okay. Ah, that. I-94 okay. is the mandatory one. Okay, okay, okay. And there may be a human error, like spelling mistake or right. dates mismatch will be happen. So we want to make sure that uh, it was entered correctly. Like uh, they will be giving you until the visa end date. That okay. I-94 will give, we'll give you like when time. you want to exit the country. Okay, okay. So that brings me another question. So what questions were asked in immigration? No immigration. Luckily, I did not add any. Questions. You did not. Okay. They just asked me that I seven nine seven copy and they just give one. Okay. Because I heard from some from from few people that they make you to sit like hours. Whoever I think I seen my neighbor who was traveling with me. She was a student. She was so worried about the immigration because okay. lot of questions. Is it happening? Asked. They do they screw a yes, lot? Yes. Yes. Okay. It's happening. They'll be asked, but unless H1B holders will not be no, having no, an no. issue. 
but okay. business visa everyone will have this okay okay lot of questions will be raised why you have been here what's your job nature everything will be question okay that's one b it's it's already work permit so mostly your questions will number of questions you get will be minimum okay and i did not get any questions there i they just asked me what uh, to share that uh, i 797 and with that they given me i mean they just will they just put the entry and they also don't they'll give us seal in the passport and that's all right no i am i don't think you don't have an entry seal the entry seal i think it's, uh, i'm not i don't I'm okay. clearly not remember because i think in chennai when you are yeah, departure chennai will itself, have an exit no departure itself there is yeah. like okay. leaving the country i'm mm-hmm. not sure whether i i need to there, check okay 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 no issues ah uh, okay anything else on the first timers no i94 to... you want mm-hmm. to check the next day i mean first day they will not give you any copy and all okay they just uh, uh, enter the details okay once you are out of uh, next day you want to check your i94 details and get the print out like it's a free website i mean public website okay okay you just okay. want to put your receipt number so your i94 will be done you want to just cross your fate in case if there is any mistake next day you want to travel back to the airport and uh, okay. solve those So otherwise we are good to go from day one. Day one, uh, if there is no I nine, I nine, you want to. Oh, if it is not there, we have to. I nine only, oh. then you should work. Okay, okay, okay. Otherwise, if we have that uh, through the company, then no issue. No issue. Directly yes. we can go and start working. Yes, you can directly start working, and they'll give you time for the assessment. Yeah, oh. you may be submitting for the social security. Okay, okay. And have you been inquired by police officer anywhere when you travel to show your? Uh, Uh, work permit no. or passport so no, far so far i have no so if no. at all they ask what is that we need to carry do you have any idea did you hear from someone no i think passport should be fine original passport should be there unless every time. i mean unless you are committing to some mistakes and they get you only you are then. in trouble only then those things will be needed okay i and think your passport should be passport fine should. did you drive there no i am not i did not drive there you didn't. Yeah, but you have your uh, the uh, india license right? indian license you have i think you the can first few months we can yes you can travel uh, if it's a chip card like okay oh. you can travel okay okay first okay, few okay, days. okay nice i mean first few months it's allowed i think 6 months or something okay. you'll be able but you want to apply for the pass In- uh, international, uh, international yeah. license us license us license you want to apply then you can go okay there. okay good so that brings us to the end of uh, first video so we he shared uh, the experience of uh, the first time applying h1b and going there and uh, all that needs to be done for the first timers so good luck first timers enjoy your trip in us enjoy your stay in us so the next video as i said will be having uh, the transfer so you are there and uh, why did he tra- start his transfer process and what all he went through that we will see in the next video